The 1001 Nights, also popularly known as the Arabian Nights, are a collection of folklore and stories largely from Arabia, ancient and medieval Persia, Egypt, India and Mesopotamia. Arabian Nights can be described in three simple words, magical, mystical and mythical. Hailed as timeless, the Arabian Nights have caught the imagination of many generations. It is a collection of enthralling stories that can be described as a take on the oral tradition of storytelling. The Arabian Nights is translated in many languages and has many variations across the world. These stories are set in dazzling and exotic worlds. The tales of jinns, ghouls, sorcerers, snake charmers and many more. It includes stories of adventures, mysteries, horror, betrayal, love, wisdom, tragedies and even erotica. Some of the prominent tales being Aladdin's Wonderful Lamp, Alibaba and Forty Thieves, The Seven Voyages of Sindhabad the Sailor, The Fisherman and the Genie, and so on. Galvanized with electrifying emotional experiences, these epic stories have caught the fascination of the whole world. The Arabian Nights has a very interesting backstory. It is said that once upon a time, there lived a reigning monarch, King Shehriyar, and one day he became aware of his wife's infidelity and he was so furious that he ordered to execute her. But the bitterness continued and lingered for long and finally he decided that each day he would marry a new girl and get the girl executed the very next morning. Until Shehrzadeh, the wazir's daughter, volunteered to marry the king. On the night after the wedding, Shehrzadeh asked the king if she could bid one last farewell to her beloved younger sister, Dunyazadeh. Now secretly she had prepared her sister with a plan. Dunyazad insisted Shehrzadeh to tell her a story during that long night. The King Shehryar remained wide awake and as he listened with awe to the story that Shehrzad told her younger sister. The night passed by and when Shehrzad stopped in the middle of the story, the King insisted that she finishes the story. Now Shehryar spared her life for one more day so that she could listen to the whole story. The following night, Shehrzadeh finished the incomplete story but at the same time she began narrating a second story that was even more enticing than the first one and suddenly she stopped halfway through at dawn. Now this trail continued for many days and at the end of 1001 nights and 1001 stories Shehrzadeh finally told the king that she had no more tales to tell him. During this 1001 nights, the King Shehryar fell in love with the Shehrzade and thus he spared her life and made her his queen. Now it is interesting to note that Arabian Nights or 1001 Nights is also considered to be one of the oldest known fantasy fiction. In some of the stories, the hero travels across the cosmos and he traverses through the many worlds and stumbles upon unrealistic lands. Unbelievably, these stories can be seen as an interesting vehicle of escape from the stark absurdities of our existence and will surely swell your imagination and take you to new lands where the snakes talk and the carpets